burnt out old boat. Not what you expect to see when you hit paradise. A few other campers here. Just put the tinny in, about to go fishing. Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Fishing Mission. Thank you for tuning in. It took us about two hours to get here just south of Mackay. This place is absolutely glorious. It's absolutely beautiful. The last time I was here was about six or seven years ago with Reese, who's behind the camera. We're back down here in his little tinny. We got 17 species of fish in one day on lure that day. I do remember this place was alive. We even caught little um, mackerel off the mangroves, flicking at sticks. Couldn't believe the diversity of this place. We had to come in last night, so the footage that you would have seen earlier in this clip was just coming in literally at midnight last night. It was either coming at midnight last night or coming at midday today because of the tides and we didn't want to lose half a day's fishing. So we came in, we left Mackay at 10, we got here about 12, cruised up the beach, got to camp, set up swags, and got a few hours sleep. When I say a few hours, more like, well, went to bed with about four hours to the alarm. I think I probably had two hours. I was just too excited. But we are here in the little tinny and we're gonna flick mangroves. We're gonna chase some barramundi um, off the sticks today up the creek. And then tomorrow when the wind drops to about five knots, we might out, hit out the front, see if we can find a barra on the headlands or a bluey around there as well. Some nice reef, reef structures and uh, shoal stuff around the front here. But it's a beautiful morning. Let's see if we can't get a few fish in the boat. Guys, I've changed over to Atomic Prong Rig Weedless. So this is a four inch Atomic Prong. It's a prawn profile with a 4.0 Gemagatsu EWG hook and a small uh, ball sinker in the bottom of your loop knot. That's your casting and your sinking, sinking weight. Just casting it into the mangroves and then twitching it down and it's fully weedless. So you won't really snag up. You do snag up occasionally, but nowhere near as many times as you would with a hard body, say. When a fish crunches it, that plastic goes down into the gape of that big hook and you pin him in the corner of the jaw, which is awesome. The black brim cruising along the edge there. Pikey. Yeah, I think that's fish. Some sort of bait fish, eh? Mm. Little flatty. First fish of the morning. Same little guy. But one of that atomic prong. Everything eats a prawn. Makes sense to use them. I'll chuck him in here. Pretty little fish. So that's what happens when you get the bite on a weedless plastic, guys. The plastic sits across the top, and when a fish grabs it, it compresses into the gape of this hook. This is what they call a Gemagatsu EWG hook or worm hook, and that's a 4 0 with a 4 inch I find to be a good size. And you always pin them in the corner of the jaw and then you put it back up like this and it's back to being snagless or weedless again awesome way to fish swim towards you good fish nice grunter not a bad fish though, on the vibe, eh? Yeah. You right with him? Yeah. It's alright. Let's hope we come across a few. What is that thing? Look like a bloody transformer. <laughs> what have I got here? Oh, it's not that bloody actually. Yeah. Might go in the ice box. I'm going to lift him in, Reese. I'm not going to break 60 pound. Boat you got 60, did you? Yeah, 60 pound on the bait caster. I've got a flatty here. Yeah, it's fine, like a flatty. How big is it? Oh no, it's not a flatty. It's a big broom, actually. Didn't expect that out here. Come here, mate. 
on the atomic 50 mil vibe semi hard vibe chill 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 it's all good mate i'm gonna put you back just relax relax oh mate i know it hurts stay still right oh that's a good fish dude good fish grab the net for this one man A barry, it is a barry coming back. All right, small boat dance. nice fish. Come on, only a small vibe and small hooks. Get to the back, Reese. Get to the back. Oh, that was a nice barra, guys. It would have been legal, it would have been 62, 63. It's a really nice fish. We hadn't actually caught any barra today. They were the target, and that was one then. And uh, I'm only using a 50 mil vibe, atomic soft vibe, semi hards, and um, I've caught plenty on this before, but it did straighten out one of my hooks on one of the trebles. It looked like it might have only been on one point, and lost him at the boat there. Devastated, because we've had to work so hard today. So all we've got so far is a few flathead, and a brim, and a grunter. And that was a barramundi and we're camping out and that would have been a beautiful feed. We want to get a couple of barramundi before season shuts in a week's time. Oh man, so close. That's a little vibe. I had him on there. 50 mil. That lead is chafed and it's only 30 pound. So I'm going to change that up really don't know how big the next fish is going to be so it's just not worth risking it don't be lazy it's only light to begin with only light trebles only a small lure so it's going to probably inhale it down its mouth so that's why it's chafed through there so i don't want to put too much pressure otherwise that'll break take two minutes cut it retie here you go legal you in the net <laughs> oh yeah yeah you know what happens when we do that there you go, you got yep, yours yeah. at least. There's dinner there. Another flatty. Yeah. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh, yeah. Maybe the net, Reese. <laughs> let's go with that. Let's go, let's go. There we go. He's better. Very good. After losing two barra. Catching a couple of flat ed just takes the edge off a little bit. Still hurts. <laughs> a lot. Cod. Here's a codly. As soon as you find the rocks, you find the cod. A small butt. What have we got? Oh my god, it's the cutest little cod you've ever seen in your life. A little cod finger. Check it out. Massive bro. It's actually really cute. Yeah. Nice in the tank, eh? Chill. Yeah. Um, should be right. Heading upstream, don't know what it is. Got a bit of weight to it. Got a lot of weight. I reckon there's a blue salmon, just way to fight now, Ace. Oh no, finger mark. Finger mark. I don't know if he's size, but I don't think he is, but that might be what they are. Yeah. Again. We caught him nice little finger mark guys we just found some uh, fish on the sounder back over there on side scan Reese said that no, we'll pull up here and that might be what they are finger mark 
he's not like he's not quite size they're gonna be 35 but they're such a beautiful fish if we get a couple of legal ones of these they are the best chilling once again on the vibe coming semi hard 50 mil oh swimming right along the bank actually oh, what is this it's heavy too I don't know. We're swimming on the bank. Along the bank. Well, there's a flathead on the side. <laughs> ah. Punch above your weight, mate. Taking drag too, look. <laughs> mate. You think you're bigger than you really are. On the side, look. Another flatty. Fish on. Flatty or what? Feels a bit like a flatty. Oi, what's it doing? Oh my god. It's a catfish, isn't it? It's blue. Blue? No. It's a catfish. Oh, don't worry about netting it. Still haven't seen it yet. What is this? Whoa! Jack? Oh, what is that? <laughs> nice! Good pelagic action. First cast, eh? First cast is always good. Come out the front to some reef. What do you got there? Lost him. Yeah, I saw it really briefly. A bit of power. Yeah, well, the Mackies. There's a spotty Mackie, look. Yeah. Yeah, net him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, mate. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hook it in. Oh, Woo. nice net job there. Almost. <laughs> oh, spotty Mac. The boat. It works. Spotty Mac, nice. One minute up the creek, next minute out chasing mackerel around the headlands here. There's birds working, there's bait. We come out here to try and get a barra. There's a few mackerel around. Bait caster is not traditionally what I'll be using to flick things for mackerel. Coming out for bar oh Come out to try and get a barra. And the pelagics are on. It wasn't a bad mackerel that spotty. Yeah. Should clean up on a slug. Should clean up on a slug. Mackerel chased it in. Oh, yep. 
think so. I'm not going hard enough for a buzzer. Yeah, this one. Just hit. Oh, little fella. Oh. Little Spanish mackerel. Smallest little cutest Spanish mackerel in the history of the free world. Look at him. So cute. Whoa. They hit hard. Mackerel on the hard bodies, man. <laughs> On the bait casting gear. Not what this is made for, but anyway. Whoa! Another Mackie. Woo! This is awesome. Look, he's getting airborne coming up in the water column something might be chasing him he hit hard this guy another little Spanish is it or what are they yeah all right you got a gaff Sick. New Samurai Refraction 16 to 20 pound barra bait caster catching mackerel <laughs> on the hard bodies. Whoa, and out here in a little four meter tinny, the bow's nearly going under, the stern's nearly going under with every wave. <laughs> Crazy! Give it a bit of credit going four metres. How big is it? Three and a half. Three and a half metres. Next level. Oh this guy can yeah. this guy can probably go back, hey. Alrighty. Got those pies there. It's only just pinned. Well, she doesn't shake him, India. Nice. Thank you. Paradise, baby. How good is this place? One minute catching flathead up the creek in Barra. Next minute catching mackerel. Or blueies. No wonder so many people love it. A few people here. Gorgeous. This is a grey mackerel. What's the size of them on these, Reese? 60, I believe. 60? And he went, what, 62, something like that? 64, it was. 64. Building them up. They have nice beer battered mackerel steaks. We have beer batter mackerel steak or we just have them just in butter, aren't we? Oh, just in oil. Yeah, a bit of oil and butter perhaps. Nice and fresh, but be delicious. Cheers. Oh, you're going through the skin. Watched it. <laughs> oh, nah. It's nice, a bit sharp, the skin. Oh, nah. 
Can you leave the skin on? Yeah, leave it be delicious. This fish, about an hour ago, was still swimming. Or maybe two hours ago, was still swimming. You can't get much fresher than that. Glorious. It's making me salivate. Yeah. I'm going to cut you off a bit. Huh? I'm going to cut you off a bit. <laughs> it's a shame yet. Fresh mackerel going in the pan. Pan hot? Should be hot. Hot enough? Oh yeah. Hot enough. Bit of a sizzle there. Got a little bit of pool of oil, so we're not on a very flat surface, are we? We'll level it up a little. <laughs> chock it up. Put a chock in it. I think so. Honouring the kill. Mackerel, fresh. Literally two hours ago we're swimming. We bled it, knocked it on the head. A little bit of a cook up. Salt and pepper, a bit of oil, keeping it simple. Fresh fish. When you're camping, doesn't get much better. How good's the cook up? Fresh mackerel. Reese brought out the flash <laughs> broccolini and carrots. And I got the dirty old baked beans. <laughs> but when you're camping, this is gonna taste bloody nice. I'm really hungry. I've had about five muesli bars today. That's about it. It's gonna be good. What a rig, check this out. How good. Machine. Got the bung in, bro? Oh, she's getting there. It, it How good, look at this. Steering wheel, or fuel tank down there. Some weight up the Ford. front. Yep. What's the overall length, mate? 2.4. 2.4? Oh, 1.3. 1.3. Send her in. Go on. Go on. How nice is the light? It looks dark over there, but it's bloody orange and... Right, oh, check that out. These lads built this themselves. Two seats. It's about, yeah, we're 2.4 long, 1.3 wide. Send it! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Get it on the plane! Look at that, boys! Look at it go! I'm waiting for the Darius. I'm waiting for the Darius. No way! I need to call it shark bait, this boat. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> nice and dry ride. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning, guys. Start of day two. Sun's about to come up. And we've got five knots. So we're heading out the front again, back to where we caught the mackerel yesterday. Should be better conditions than when we were out there yesterday afternoon. It was a bit roly-poly. But yeah, good night's sleep, good feed, couple of beers, and about to do it all again. It's not overly big. I think it's still on. I don't know if it's still on anymore. Yeah, it's still on. What do we got? Not doing nothing anymore. Oh, stripy. Spanish flag or stripy? Alrighty, come in, mate. Yeah, pretty fish, eh? Yeah. It's solid. It's got a little cut on it. So. Oh, yeah. Here, mate. Trout will be lovely. Little trouty. Got stripies there, so you obviously get your little reefies in there. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh. There he is. Hey, little fella. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, double. Doubles. Excellent. Mackie's a psycho. Woo! Jeez, man. I think I've got a little grey. By those big fins. Oh, maybe not. What do you got? Big one? Oh, yeah, not a bad size one, eh? I've got a little Spanish, I think. How yeah, juvenile Spanish mackerel? You got a nice spotty there. Ah! Differences between your mackerel, guys. Mine's a Spanish. By the vertical bars, a broad barred mackerel. And Reese has got a spotty there. Know your mackerel sizes definitely because there are definitely size limits that apply. These things here that I've got, it's got to be 75. And he's definitely undersized, whereas yours is a, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> a nice, uh, nice spotty. Still got him? Hey. Small one, yeah. Are you on the slug, are you? Oh, you're on the hard body now. Yeah, cool. What do you got, a stripey? Yeah, cool. They're pretty fish, eh? Not a bad size too. Oh, another stripey. That's a good stripey, dude. Holy crap. That's a snodger. Size of it. I don't know if I've seen a stripey this big before. He's a good 40 centimetres, eh? Yeah. And solid, eh? Thick. That's a cracking fish. What have we got here? Yeah, it's a bit different, eh? I don't think this is a mackerel. It is definitely heavier. Whoa. Hey? Is it? No, it's a trout. It's a trout, dude. Get the net. I want the net for this guy. Yes. Awesome trout. Woo! I wanted a trout. That's gorgeous. Oh my god. I am stoked with that. Absolutely stoked with that. How beautiful is it? Oh my god. Check this out. Got a big stripey here. We've got a nice trout. I'm just stoked with this trout. On the Barabate cast gear. 125 mil Tomic Slim Twitcher. How good. That fish is coming home. Thank you, Reese. Gentlemen. Right. He's lassoed himself too now, eh? Yeah. I'm absolutely stoked with this, guys. We came out to this rocky headland here looking for barramundi. We've had heaps of fun with the mackerel. And I said, I would love to get a coral trout here. I'm using the Samurai Refraction Bait Caster. So this is something I'd use up the creeks for barramundi, catching mackerel on it. Atomic Slim Twitcher, 125 mil hard body as well. I am stoked with this trout. They've got to be my favorite fish to, to eat. These and blueies or tuskies, my top two. And I'm stoked with that fish. It's a good sized fish. I knew it was something a bit different. He was fighting harder, going deeper, more weight. And I am wrapped with that trouty. On the bait cast gear, the new Samurai Refraction, 16 to 20 pound. Loving it. Awesome. Oh, let it go. There's two. Come on, get these squid here. There's a couple of squid. 
Got it. Ah. Very hard to see in this motley water. I think he's scared of my lure now. Got stung by it once. Yeah. They can just keep us heading that way, parallel to the bank. It's a decent GT. Little GT man. Nah. As you probably wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, just watch these shallow ones, eh? He's not a bad size little G. in the reef. Oh, it's, it's out. That's a cod. Yeah. Gold spot S3 cod. Snaffled the prong. Whoa, and he's spitting out a crab. There's a crab down here. He'll probably bite me. Mm. Here's the pliers. Not a bad codly. So I'm going to steal your crab off you. That's what he's been chewing on. Ooh. A crab? <laughs> oh, what's that? Something else chasing it. I think it's a trout. Yeah, that was a trout underneath it. There. And that's a cod. There was definitely a trout, then a definitely a cod. Yeah. There were two different fish. I saw the blue spots. 100% saw the blue spots yeah. of the trout. I thought it was one A. I thought it was a trout again. Yeah, it looks like that deep orange. Yeah, that orangey. Bloody codly. These lures are just awesome. Slim Twitcher by Atomic, 125 mil. Caught coral trout on this mackerel. Cod. This was a brand new lure before today. And now it's full of holes and scratches. Obviously, doing what it's made to do. Guys, the last day and a half camping has been absolute fantastic. It's been paradise down here. We started off from the creeks, vibing, catching barra, catching flathead. Well, actually, Losing Barramundi. I lost a couple yesterday. I was so annoyed at myself for most of the day, but then we came out in the afternoon and around the headlands and got a few mackerel out there. So that sort of uh, made it feel a little bit better. And then this morning we came back out front again and banged a few more mackerel and that beautiful coral trout. I was so happy with that. Just using the barra bait cast gear. We use Tomic Slim Twitches. We used Tomic Prongs and the Tomic Semi Hard Vibes and the Creeks Vibe. And it's been fantastic down here, it's been paradise. Day and a half, I wanna do a lot more fishing and camping videos instead of just fishing. Camping, full driving as well. Making whole big weekends out of it, big adventures, big fishing missions. So, thank you very much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe, cheers.